Hello and welcome to another episode of The Really Show. I'm your host, Aaron Ross. This show is all about funny, strange, and interesting stories we find online. Today's show, North Korea, why would you do that? In an article on wafflesatnoon.com, do you know it's the 103rd year in North Korea? Though they used to follow the Gregorian calendar, Juchi calendar was adopted in 1997 with Kim Il-sung's birth year serving as the first year of the calendar. Since he was born in 1912, it is now year 103 in North Korea. However, they do mark the Gregorian year in brackets to avoid confusion. Juchi 103, 2014. With Kim Il-sung's birth year as year one. Though it was adopted as the official calendar in 1997, every year from 1912 were renumbered according to the Juchi calendar. The founder and first autocratic ruler of North Korea, Kim Sung Il, is revered as a god, and his birthday is celebrated as the Day of Sun. Our next story, meth or tea, according to LATimes.com. Depending on where you live, you probably greet guests with coffee or tea, right? North Koreans think it is a good gesture to offer guests a sniff of methamphetamine. Yes, meth is widely available in North Korea and its usage isn't frowned upon. It is illegal in most countries and considered highly addictive, which creates intense dependency from the first use. However, it is widely accepted in otherwise strict North Korea. In a country where there's widespread food scarcity, Many use this to curb appetite. Originally, the government manufactured the drug for exporting purposes, but now it's widely available to its citizens. It is quite easy to prepare, and many prepare it at home. Our next article, state-approved haircuts in North Korea, according to nydailynews.com. Do you know North Korea has 28 state-approved hairstyles? 18 for women, 10 for men, and you're only allowed to choose from those approved styles. According to the ruling party, moving forward in fashion is frowned upon, and they don't want any Western fashion influence in their hairdos. If you are in North Korea, you must sport traditional or probably retro looks. Men are allowed no more than 2.8 inches hair length. And while women have more choices than men, most of their hairstyles are prehistoric. According to the North Korean government, they are protecting their citizens from corrupting effects of capitalism. Thanks again for watching The Really Show. I'm Aaron Ross. We'll see you next time.